What is up everybody, welcome to episode 3 of Fix It. In today's video we will be building an indoor washing line. With the rainy season approaching, I think this video might be quite informative. So let's head on to our intro video. So one thing we need to keep in mind guys when putting in an indoor washing line is that it might be in the way. So when putting in an indoor washing line, you want it to be able to move out of the way or fold up in some sort of way. I found a really cool technique to build an indoor washing line using off-cut pieces of wood and an old piece of rope. So let's quickly run a little video to show you exactly what you will need for today's job. So guys, what we'll need for today's job is some off-cut wood, 50 by 50 centimeters is more than enough. You're going to need some nylon rope. The length of the nylon rope will all be determined by the length of your washing line. You want to go with quite a big plug to make sure that the washing line is mounted quite strongly into the wall. You're going to need some drywall screws to fit some other brackets. You're going to need a hammer to get the plugs into the wall. And then obviously you're going to need a drill to make the holes for the plugs. So what we will be doing now guys, we will be using the full length of the 50 centimeters, but we will measure out about 10 centimeters in. We will measure out 10 centimeters. We're going to need two planks. 10 centimeters by 50 centimeters. You can just draw yourself a line. It does not have to be 100% straight depending on how you feel about it. You draw your line through and you get another one. You get from there, you get another 10 centimeters in. There we go. We have another 10 centimeter plank over there. Draw your line right through there as well. There we go. Now we have two 10 centimeter planks. We're going to cut that out and that is our basis of our washing line. Okay, so we cut our two planks 10 centimeters by 50 centimeters. Then you want to cut another 10 centimeters by 50 centimeters and cut that in half. And then we're just going to cut another small piece. That does not really matter. It must just be in the region of something like that. So not exact measurements, but I will measure it exactly for you. But it's not so important to have an exact measurement on that. So let's do that. Okay, we finished cutting all our planks. So you're going to need two times 50 by 10. 2 times 25 by 10 and 1 20 by 10. So what you're going to want to do next is put down your 20 by 10, take your 2 times 25 by 10 and mount them onto the 20 by 10 as shown right here. So let's do that really quick. So now we've done that, we mounted it so it comes out to something like this. Then we're going to take our 50 by 10, only one of them, not both at this stage, put them down put our bracket like that and then measure more or less where we want our holes to put our washing line or our nylon rope. You do want to do this as you do not want this part to be obstructed with a piece of rope that cannot get through because it's in front of these pieces of wood. So more or less something like that guys, I'm going to put my holes over there, over there and over there. Then what you can do is you can mount them together on top of each other, drill your holes through so you make sure that your holes are on the same places on both of your 50 by 10 millimeter planks. Okay guys, we mounted them together like that. We drilled our holes in both our planks. So what you're gonna want to do now is to mount this part to the wall like that. And then this one will slide in from the top like that. This one will be mounted strictly to the wall all the way down. You can, however, put some washers in to give it a little bit of slack from the wall so the rope can go through at the back. I unfortunately already mounted mine, so I will not be showing you how I mount this, but I will show you what mine looks like. It's quite easy. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at mine. So that is it for our video guys, thanks so much for watching, please do subscribe, click the notification bell to see more, also leave your thoughts in the comments as well as a like, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video, always remember guys, be kind to one another and do it yourself. Audio jungle.